Welcome back to another episode. So this episode is going to be about WordPress security and how to scan your website for malware, uh, viruses, and other security threats and vulnerabilities that might exist on your server and website and tries to help you fix them. All right, in order to do this, I'm on my local host. I'm going to go to the back end and I'm going to install a plugin that's going to be very useful. I'm going to add new. And then I'm going to go here to search plugins and I'm going to type out got MLS. Now the first result and the only result in this case should be this one, anti-malware security and brute force firewall. The This anti-malware scanner searches for malware, viruses and other security threats and vulnerabilities on your server and helps you fix them. As you can see, it's active on over 100,000 plus installations, has five star reviews by a lot of reviewers recently updated. So we can look at more details to see what this plugin brings and you can see what it has. It's really a good plugin. It provides you everything you need in order to scan your site. All right, so you can install now. It'll go through the process of installing the plugin. You can activate the plugin and now you get this other uh, link over here uh, in your sidebar, anti-malware. So you can go to scan settings. So this is uh, what what to look for. You can choose everything within the WordPress installation itself. You can go up a level. You can only focus on a particular uh, folder if you want or in the plugin section. You can skip these files if you want to and you can skip directories with the following names and you can just put them there. A folder name or a comma separated list of folder names to skip and you can you know customize how you want things to run. So you do need to get a free key. So it'll run the process of getting a free key. And then your installation key is registered. New definitions. Updates are available. Download the new definitions because you're going to need those. And then you'll get that pop up. All right. So now we have the new definitions installed. Now the developer puts in a lot of time, you know, and effort into keeping this plugin up to date. So obviously if you want to support them, uh, you can do so by do making a small donation you know, via this sidebar area. All right, so now you can also set some firewall options. So by default, it has these enabled, and then you can block XML RPC access if you want. And then if you want, you can install this patch here for brute force protection, but we're not going to do that this time. It's just a demonstration of how this plugin works. And then if you do have some quarantined items, they would be featured here, but obviously this is a brand new installation, so we don't have any of those. So we're going to click on the main link here or scan settings. We have these set and then you can choose a quick scan or you can run a complete scan. So if this is the first time that you are using this plugin. I would recommend running a complete scan. Now note it does take a very long time. It's a, a very thorough plugin and it'll run a complete scan of your entire installation and this will take some time and you're going to see this go uh, for a very extended period. I'm going to let this run and I will come back in a few and uh, show you the results. After about 42 minutes and 1891 folders checked, these are the results. Um, there is no issues on this obviously because this is a local installation of WordPress and there's really nothing on here but if there was you would see the scan details down below over here we did the scan of the um, quarantine files AC access threats Tim thumb exploits backdoor scripts it did show us some skipped files uh, so we you know we did skip some of these and then some of them are because this is on my development environment and obviously these wouldn't be on your production environment. I'm using Gulp as a uh, way to automate a lot of processes. So I'm just going to X out of that right now. And uh, if there's any core file changes, they would have been displayed here as well. So this is just a quick way to scan. Well, not really a quick way because it does, in this case, it did take 42 minutes. I have seen on, you know, my... <clears throat> 
live websites that have been around for a long time and have obviously more features and plugins installed, you know, this can sometimes take well over an hour. So you want to do this at a time that, you know, is not going to be peak usage for your website because this does use some server resources, but it's something you should really, you know, utilize to scan your files. But it do, it is a way for you to scan your files and folders for any issues um, in terms of malware, viruses, or security threats that may exist. It's one of the more popular plugins. Um, it will give you the type of um, ability to scan your website that some other plugins may not. And it goes deeper and more thoroughly into some other um, scans than some other plugins do. So definitely check it out. It is Got MLS. It's a free plugin on the WordPress dot uh, org uh, repository and it is really one of those plugins that i highly recommend you use to help monitor the security of your website it's well maintained by the developer they provide this for free they do request a donation if you want to support their efforts and uh, it's definitely um something i recommend uh, if you did have any quarantined items you would find them there as i mentioned before and then you do have your firewall options there as well. You can block the XML or PC access if you want. And these are set by default and you can just toggle those off if you need. All right. So hopefully you found this episode helpful. I just wanted to do another uh, video on securing your WordPress based website. Um, since, you know, security is something that we are all talking about nowadays nowadays with cybersecurity being at the top of our attention and news feed on various you know websites and uh, obviously we hear about you know millions of websites getting attacked and stuff like that so staying on top of these security aspects of uh, your site is extremely important and this is just one plugin that helps you do that all right hopefully you found this helpful it was a quick video on how to scan your website for any issues that exist. If you did find it helpful, give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe because I'm going to be creating more videos on how to protect your WordPress powered website uh, from various types of attacks and how to ensure it stays secure and, you know, keeping you up to date on any new trends or news uh, pertaining to WordPress and just cybersecurity in general. So, uh, thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. I'll see you next time. Take care.